In this video, we're going to review the countertop bracket assembly. When this assembly is first placed, we'll notice that by default, there are no brackets within it. While selected on the assembly, we can change the quantity of them. We'll also notice that some additional attributes become available. We can modify the type of bracket being applied as well as the left and right inset of those brackets. Any additional brackets will automatically space equally between my left and right bracket. You'll notice that this bracket is already inset into the wall, so brackets that have that requirement will default to do so. However, you can modify that inset or select another bracket that isn't inset into the wall and you can modify that here as well. You can also add cleats, which once applied will create some additional attributes to modify, let's say the length of them, the position of them, and the width. If you're using a bracket type of vanity, we'll see that some additional parts are created for our false front and our panel. When those are applied, some more attributes do become available as well, where you can modify the height of our false front, our panel height, as well as the reveal. All of these attributes and all of the components are being generated by a set of UCSs. These UCSs are locked, so you cannot modify the code. However, while selected on the attributes UCS, there are some public variables that allow you to set the attribute defaults.